socially deaf. And welcome to Don't Drag Us. I don't know why we're doing a spooky voice. Spooktober is over. I'm an alien dad. <laughs> dad. And I'm a sad, sad tease of a clown. <laughs> you're not a clown. You are the, you're the tease. I'm the tease of the clown. You are the tease of the clown. Ooh, I'm the ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Today we're going to be reacting to RuPaul's Drag Race UK Season 5 Episode 6 Episode 6 Yay! Oh, we love it! No, no! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so last week Last yeah. week What we happened said, last week, Diva? Last oh, week, what? Diva let, let me tell you what happened last week Well, I'm listening But last week we said goodbye Goodbye See you later Stay on Nara To Banksy what did you say? I didn't hear her. I said Banksy! No! Oh my god, yeah, she did leave, didn't she? Yeah, she did. <gasps> Banksy's left the competition, she's gone. She's Varmoose. Yeah. She's off to do interpretive art on walls around the world. Yes! Come on, graffiti. Honestly, very surprising because she was hailed universally as a front runner. Yeah, I so... saw. I thought she was like all the way to the end. Yeah. Fully all the way to the end. No question. No but question. that was not to be. Mm -hmm. And um, I guess now I have to rearrange my top four. And that's fine. Uh, amongst other things. I mean, my wardrobe, my life, my sense of self, my your sense tits, of real... Your eyebrows. Hey. Your... <laughs> tits are not meant to be symmetrical. If they are, they're fake. And that's why I picked mine on. Actually, no, these are homegrown. Homegrown! I'm gross. This is organic. Yeah, this is what organic. you look like all the time, I'm day gross. to day. This is an everyday beat. Yes! Last week the winner was Ginga. Gingham! Upa Gingham style. I am also just as surprised about that because yeah. by all the confessionals she's been getting, I didn't think that she was going to make it too far into this competition, but now she's out first for two wins. Well, I thought last week it should have been uh. Michael Maruli. I guess so. <laughs> And I agree. <laughs> the fact that what you just did was... It wasn't I mean, a tongue... It realness. wasn't a tongue bop. Yeah. It was not a tongue bop. It was a... It's a lip... A lip smack. It was a wet opening. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what it was. Too many of those girls. Um, but uh, Ginga Ginger did win, and that's fine. Good for her. I definitely think it should be Michael. Well. It should be Michael. It should be but Michael. But it should have been Michael. It I stand by that. Yeah. We're in agreement. We're all in agreement. You're in agreement with us. We all agree. Thank you so much. And I'm going to disagree with that statement and say we're in agreement with each other. We're in agreement, and we're all in agreement. I didn't sign nothing. <laughs> All right, well, should we just get into the episode? Yes, I'm contractually obligated to do so. That's right, Dee Dee Licious yes. was just in the bottom. She was in the bottom, and she did so well with that lip sync. She did so well. As a non-musical theatre girly, doing the musical theatre ballad, she brought the musical theatre. She popped up. She's say. She brought the theatrics. Mm-hmm. All hail the Rat Queen. Come on, Rat Queen. Back to the sewers you go. Take your drag, which is also shit. <laughs> She was a fashion queen of the season, what the fuck? It's all a good humour. I'm here to tell the joke, not make truths. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing I say is factual. Yeah. My parents love me. <laughs> Another thing to adjust. <laughs> like your TV sets. Your TV you can just sets. crop her out of the picture. She was a huge, incredibly tall presence <laughs> in the workroom. Huge and incredibly tall. You see, you an incredibly tall presence. <laughs> mm. She was a big present. I wrapped her on Christmas. She was enormous and gigantic. Very, very big. You could also say she was large. <laughs> uh, I thought it was going to be Vicky or Michael. So did we. So did we, girl. Not to, not to jump on you there, but... Uh, <laughs> you nearly jumped into the TV. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, man! And I do it again. Ba, ba. Mm. She did do good, I will she say. Did. As much as I think that... Michael Morley should have won. Yeah. Ginger did do well in the challenge. No, she did. I'm here for the paycheck mm. and the craft services. I don't get paid. Do you reckon Australia's craft services would just be fairy bread? Jars of Vegemite, but no bread to go alongside with them. We had to smear the Vegemite on the fairy bread. <laughs> fairy bread with Vegemite? Let's do it. And, yes. and crackle some wheat picks on top. Yum. Yeah, it's a healthy sure. breakfast. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> For cuisine, all. darling. Australasian. Modern Australian cuisine. Australian fusion. <laughs> yes. I'll be staying on top, baby. Oh, you're definitely a bottom. <laughs> I'm sorry. 
that. No questions asked. You can't fool me, girl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Michelle oh. Visage is here? Oh what? My, oh my god. Oh, they have judges this episode. Oh my god. Oh my. I didn't even realize this was a judging season. What do you mean? I thought that we were just here for shits and gigs. I oh. thought it was meant to be for fun. I thought Michelle Visage was here to polish shoes. <laughs> <laughs> to polish shoes? Yeah, that's what she's known for, right? <laughs> What is she, a street urchin? <laughs> yeah, you she know? hides out the sewer with Banksy. Yeah. <laughs> Rat queens represent. That's too bad, Cal. That's not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having the most fun, which I think is the real winner of the competition. Oh, ah! yes, yeah, say that while laughing it out. <laughs> Laugh away the pain, girl. Mm -hmm. Laugh away the pain. Step that pussy's up or get out. But do they have a fire under their ass? But do they have a fire it. under there? But do you have a fire in your ass? And that's called a hernia, darling. <laughs> oh, da darling, it's a da hernia, darling. She puts the she, her, and hernia, honey. Don't have it, but no. She, hernia. <laughs> <laughs> I do that How did we get here? <laughs> Now, Bimini Bomboolatch did that in the Snatch Game. She did do that. Game? I, don't, well, I feel like if we're quoting Snatch Game, it might, it might possibly be Snatch Game. I think you might be right. Well, no, well I think you might be because you said it first. Oh my god, did I? Yeah. I'm so smart. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so smart. Well, I'm an intellectual. We're playing the Snatch Game. Hey! I think we called it. We missed all the lead up, and I'm fine with that because we got the final result. We got the final result, okay. Yeah. It's about the destination, not the journey, right? <laughs> That's what they say, right? <laughs> it's about the viewership, not what we say, right? Yeah. And they're the best drag queen. Where? 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 Oh, right. what? I am excited to see who does what. Yeah. I want to know what characters they're doing. I want to know what direction they're going. I'm telling you right now, immediately first impressions. I don't think Caramel's going to do well. Mm -hmm. Dion Warwick. Dion Warwick. Okay. I always thought it was pronounced Warwick. Like the W was silent. I don't know. I'm not English. <laughs> Neither do I. <laughs> I'ma just speak how I feel. Oh my god. <laughs> so this is gonna be a big. I think this is gonna be a big point for for Caramel to be like. Can she pull through being funny after the last comedy challenge? Yeah, can she pull through a comedy challenge yeah. is the challenge for her. Mm -hmm. It's the challenge for everyone else right now as well. I mean, it's a cha this is the challenge. Yeah. Like, this is like one of the challenges that everyone looks forward to. The staple. At this point, if you do bad on Snatch Game, you only have yourself to blame because yeah. you know it's coming up, you could have done the research. Yeah. But there's a lot of unknowns about her as well where I can fill in the blanks and just be silly with it. And that's mm. what you need, enough freedom to let your drag character and persona mm -hmm. take the reins and navigate the situation. Absolutely. you got to have things to fall back on, yeah. but enough room to improv and create as well. Yeah, because it's almost like you're doing a celebrity impression through the perspective of your drag character. Yeah, 100%. So, Lady C. Julia Fox. Julia now, Fox. I'm not gonna lie, I don't know who half these bitches are. Welcome to England. There's a bunch of people over there. There is a lot of Some people of in famous. England. Some of them are famous. Apparently these these guys, this lot, not famous enough. How don't dare know, they? Don't know who they are. Get on my screens. That might be that might be my problem. That you might be on me. Out. Hi. I'm glad we got up. What do you like, Dee Dee? What do you do well, <laughs> successfully, <Which> quickly? <laughs> oh, like... We're doing this again, we're doing this again! <laughs> I mean, I love the lip scene from last episode, but now she's never watched musical theatre, she doesn't care for celebrities. It's like, what do you do? What do you do in your spare time? What, what, what do you do to entertain yourself? <laughs> yeah! Is it porn? It has it's to probably be porn. porn. It's probably porn. Yeah, I'm at the moment. I think I'm most scared for DD in this challenge. Yeah, I'm like DD and Caramel. Yeah, DD and, and Caramel. Caramel will send DD home. Of course. Oh, sorry, sorry. Caramel will send DD home. Is what I meant to say. Is that not what you said? That may have been what I said. I can't remember. I feel like that's what you said. <laughs> My brain is just not doing the things you need to do. Yeah, 
so she'd be having none of it. But she'd, have, she'd be having none of it. She'd be having none of that. She'd be having none of it. I think I always like the idea of doing someone who's passed away because you can always recontextualize them as if they were alive today, which is what Vicky's wanting to do. Yeah. Is take that character and be like, what would they be like in the modern world? Reinsert them in the modern world. Yeah. In a modern context. Yeah. yeah that makes sense. So you have trouble with that or do you like that? No, I love it. Yeah. I love it. Same with like Rosé with Mary Queen of Scots. Uh-huh. Uh, Jesus. Jinx, Jinx doing um, Judy Garland. Yeah, true. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Oh, perfect. Barbara, Barbara Cartland? Another British. person I don't know. She's a Britland. She's a, she's she's a Brit from the land of Breet. <laughs> Breet Bix. <laughs> Breet Bix. You're doing Robert Williams as Oh! Stop it! I just love that. I just love it. We haven't had Robin Williams before. We haven't had Robin Williams, we haven't had Mrs. Doubtfire. Which is wild, because Robin Williams' characters are so good. They have so much potential, because they're already just so, like, exciting and off the cuff. Yeah, but it's also, maybe it's scary, because if you're not as good as Robin Williams, that, that is a death warrant you have signed, darling. Well, Tamara, we'll see you in the afterlife. <laughs> we'll, see, we'll see you then, darling. We'll see you when you come back uh, being played by someone else in the Snatch Game yeah. after your death. Yeah. <laughs> That is not the accent! That is not it! With this face and that Botox, is this Trinity the Tuck? <laughs> is Trinity back in the building? <laughs> is Trinity in the room with us? Yeah! <laughs> somewhere and somehow! Somewhere and somehow! I find it funny that she was doing like a southern accent. It was mm. like, Ooh, darling, it's Mrs. Doubtfire. She's very cute. Oh, you know I've never I mean? seen it. You've never seen Mrs. Doubtfire? I've never seen Mrs. Doubtfire. <gasps> you need to see Mrs. Doubtfire. So I know good. the um, I know the pie face moment. Hello, hello, dude. <laughs> you can name her biggest hit ever, but none of the other ones. Oh, um, I can name a few. Oh, okay, name them. <laughs> oh, take it away, Ernie. I told you, Caramel's gonna have a struggle in this one. She hasn't jumped on the struggle bus. She jumped in front of it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's laying down on the road, waiting for it to come oh! over. But you know who's driving? RuPaul. RuPaul. She just hit Jinx back in the alleyway. <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> I'm assuming you're going to do Kate Bush. Yes. Why ah! ah. Smart. Honestly smart. Smart. Do a character you know. It's like Derek doing uh, Britney. Britney Spears. It's like we all saw it coming, but none of us were mad. Yeah. Uh, I, I mean, I say that. Except, Everyone was except mad. Except for the bald the drag queen. She yeah. was very mad. <laughs> <laughs> That's called mental illness, darling. <laughs> That's called taking a load. Yeah. <laughs> That's called Saturday night, honey. And I've got Lady C, who was on Under Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here. Lady Camden? <laughs> Lady Camden, she's back. <laughs> back, 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 back again. I'm familiar with Lady C. Uh, not so much as uh, Julia, but she basically attended this awards thing. There was a bunch of things on the Awards thing. About her. I'm already bored. <laughs> you mentioned TikTok and RuPaul's like, nah, and honestly, same. RuPaul same is RuPaul. like, not having it. Nah. That's so Generation Alpha of you. Generation Alpha is like 10 years old. Good on it. I wish I was 10 years old. <laughs> I wish I could start again. They're, they're now teenagers. Are they actually? 2010. It's 2023. So they're reaching their teen years, girl. Oh, kill me now. Kill me now. Alright, thanks for the invite. <laughs> I still think after the walkthrough and talk through, yeah. Caramel and Dee Dee are bottom two. Caramel and Dee Dee, they are scaring me. They are really No, that's just their faces. Me. Oh yeah, no fair. Valid, yeah. Good luck! And don't. And you know. You can't. You can't fuck it up. You have to do well. Otherwise, you'll die. They'll snatch your soul. <laughs> RuPaul, bathing in the blood of her fallen contestants to maintain her youth. <laughs> Why do you think we've never seen Georgia ever again? <laughs> Where do you think she's Every been? time she says you were born for drag, that, that's, that's game over. Game over. That's the game over, You're baby. done. You're living yeah. in RuPaul's bathtub from mm. now on. 
Hello, to oh. Why she like Priyanka? She's gorgeous. She is. The eyes, the mm. nose, the lips, the, the mouth, lips, the, the teeth, the cheekbones, the she chin, was, the jaw, the neck. She was made correct. <laughs> the arms, the phalanges, the fingernails, the, the spleen, follicles, the spleen. <laughs> here we go. Here we go. Mm. Have you ever read a Jackie Collins book? She is in fact the downfall of society, and I shall hear no more words about her. <laughs> Okay, she flipped that around. Okay. A bit long-winded, but she mm. got there. I feel like she should have just been like, no, fuck that bitch. Yeah. Like, you know, something something short and sweet. Yeah. I am Dionne Warwick, and you're welcome to my present. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Cara! Yes, Come on, Cara! The 80s are Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Waving the bush in and out of frame. <laughs> 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 Mm. She tumbled with Jack and Jill. <laughs> I can't like the accent. I think the bit and the voice are selling more than her lines were. Yeah, but um, hey, if it works. If it works, it works. If you're safe, you're safe. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Delicious though. Yeah. I feel like when she said, I'm a celebrity, get me out of here, would you do it again? She'd be like, yes, I would have loved to. But looking around at this panel, there are no celebrities here. Like something along like yeah, those that would have been calling good. out that the girls good. around her. Yeah. yeah. I think everyone here missed the memo. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Oh. Oh. Not the Catherine I remember. But the Catherine we're thankful for. <laughs> It's not the Catherine we want, it's the Catherine we deserve. <laughs> I like my men the way I like my teeth. Blank. When I look at this rad car, I see a young man who loves to uphold tradition. So I think Alan likes his tea and his men loose. <laughs> ah! <laughs> loose? This is giving me Gentleman's Guide to Love and Murder. Yeah, kind of, kind of. <laughs> like, Said um bitches and zilches before with a capital L. B-land. 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 B -land. This performance is B-land. No. Whoa. She said, this is my chapter of the Snatch Game. But everything she said was funny. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, that did not feel long-winded. No, 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 she's prepared. She came in prepared for Snatch Game. Mm. Ah. Why did you say that? No, vegans anywhere! Oh, right. That was way too forced. Oh, Vicky's in the bottom. No, no, we said we thought Vicky was going to be a finalist, but she's getting that sort of type of edit. You do get that. She takes things too seriously. Yeah, girl. Well, I think it's coming to fruition. Fruition? Fruition. No, I'm a fruit. <laughs> well, only fruits here, girl. Only fruits. <laughs> Second round, here we go. Come on. We haven't had a lot of Dion cuts mm. just yet. Shall we move on? <laughs> <laughs> well, I would say I saw her twerking. Okay, okay. Is Dionne Warwick still alive? I don't know, that's a great question. Would she know about twerking? I don't know. That's another great question. Thanks, Portia. Here we go, another paragraph. And I thought, no one in England knows this metaphor. Alexandra, are you? 
think I am. It wasn't as funny as it could have been. Oh, yeah, that one didn't land. It's, it's almost just too long winded. Mm. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> what do you? Who is this? Who is this? This old ready. This is this is uh, Mrs. Doubtfire sitting on the judges' panel at Drag Race. Oh, <laughs> oh screwy, tell us more. Oh. Ah! A turn. Because Michelle Visage has filthy, filthy hands. Damn, so read the guest I judge. I always make men wash their hands before they finger my fruitcake. Oh, oh massage, these aren't funny. Of course. They could have been much funnier myself, cooking puns. I've had many a partner Ah, okay, yes. Oh, that's the end. Oh, Vicky is so in the bottom today. Vicky is not so vivacious today. Mm -hmm. Why does she look like Carrot Top? <laughs> <laughs> Why is she giving me like Chucky the doll? <laughs> she literally is. I don't know if it, this is funny or not. I'm not. There's, there's some moments coming from some of the girls. Yeah. And I appreciate that. Just Catherine Tate isn't doing it for me. Nah. <laughs> Kate Bush. <laughs> she likes to frisking his guest. <laughs> Smelling? Would you like to make a nice cup of tea? I always say. Yes! Iconic moment! That was three. You miscounted. But I don't think Tamara went to school for math. <laughs> so. Didn't answer the question like in the slightest, but that was so entertaining. Oh. He's a collection of bugs. Doesn't everyone collect bugs? Oh my god. Still a better food pun than anything Fanny has done. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, oh. As Catherine Tate does. Uh -huh. I feel like she should have continued that. Uh, puts on a little foundation. Uh, takes care of his appearance. Gives gobbies in the back alley. Mm. Like that should have been the continuation yeah. of the joke. RuPaul is not impressed. No. Nah. RuPaul is not impressed. Michael attempted to do the Bob the Drag Queen infamous mm -hmm. Uzo Aduba into yep. Carol Ch Channing. Cheryl Canning. Cheryl Canning. <laughs> Did not work, by the way. Yeah. Do we have to? I honestly think Ginger's, her first couple of answers weren't as funny, but she has warmed up. She's warmed up a bit. She takes off her and heads back down for another girl. Yes! Come on, Ginger! Oh, here we go, Fanny, here we go. Oh, the obvious. looking for shoes, Fanny. I know. Unfortunately, it's not a match. And nothing, there be, nothing. There will be articles written about you after this. Eulogies, in fact. <laughs> Why? I feel like they're all slowly losing the plot. They all seem to be like, the ones who weren't hitting as hard to start with are warming up, and the ones who hit kind of funny for the first few are now just sort of slowing down. They're crashing and burning. Yeah. To be fair, this Nash game seems like it's going forever. Yeah. But I think that's a product of the girls. Yes, we have a match! Like Dorothy girl. And talking about the length of this Nash game being a product of the girls, honey, you say it's a byproduct. Bringing the isolated and alienated community, sub-community, part of our community girl, the bys. Oh my god, we love them so much. Keep a by representation. I don't need to say anything. My partner's bisexual. I'm good. <laughs> oh, I did the work. <laughs> well, I'm gonna say it. Thank fuck that's over. Not the snatch game I thought was capable. No, like I thought Ginger didn't do as well as I thought she was going to do. I honestly think Ginger did 
she did up to par from what my standards, but she was the only one who did so. Like she, she managed to like let loose a little bit. She was a bit yeah. too strict to start with. Whereas Tamara went in a mess, came out a mess, and we loved her for being. But a mess. honestly, like I enjoyed Tamara's because mm -hmm. it was just her being a mess. Yeah, and I, honestly, that's just entertaining. Caramel shutting down the answers to start with was funny because I felt like a part of the character. Yeah, she was so secure in the voice mm -hmm. and the mannerisms. Yeah, but she continued just to shut down the answer, and she just—it just kind of felt like she didn't know where to go. Yeah, there was no growth of that character. It no. just kind of landed. Yeah. Um, Dee Dee didn't do fantastic. No, she was fine. She was fine. She Honestly, was fine. Dee Dee was safe for me. Yeah. Dee Dee, Dee, was, Dee Dee was safe. Yeah. Two I reckon are gonna be in the bottom. Vicky Vivacious uh -huh. and Michael Maruli. Really? Michael Maruli was not funny to me at all in the slightest. I don't think she said anything that actually made me laugh. I mean, check the tapes, I'm probably wrong, but... I think she had a couple of moments, but... Uh, I mean, I can't see. I don't know who else would be in the bottom. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to think who else is even there, to be honest. Yeah, I know, right? I wasn't paying attention. I lost track. I was thinking about how beautiful I looked. And so was everyone Someone else. take the mirror away. <laughs> take it away. <laughs> what is... Is that her first time in drag? Do you want to see me? <gasps> That's Tamara's it first is. time in drag! And she looks like that. She looks so different. Oh, damn. Damn. I mean, to be fair, yeah. she still looks better than me my first time in drag. Yeah. Job. I love it. I love queens with a tragic backstory. Mm. 14, 15. 14, 15. Damn! She's she still got that young. baby fat. The baby fat. She still got baby fat, girl. Yeah. Oh, I love this. This is, no, this is cute. Come on, Tamara, get the storyline. Yeah. Get the storyline, girl. And then I was on daybreak, you can just run between at 14. Who opened it? That's how you know you're a drag queen. You mm. love the attention. Yeah, we all do. Obviously, that's why we started a YouTube series. Thank and you. Thank you for the attention, Kwana. <laughs> Thanks, Kwana. <laughs> Kwana, thank you so much. We love you. Yeah, round two, round two of Kwana compliments. <laughs> it's going to become a consistent theme. <laughs> you know, an episode segment <laughs> dedicated episode, to Kwana. Our new segment. <laughs> yeah. Kwana's compliments. Yeah. I'm really not sure. Yeah. Who is going to be? top and bottom in this? No. Because everyone was exceedingly average. I honestly think Ginger might get her third win. Ginger might take it. I think Kate Butch might be in the top. Yes, I think her first answer, her first paragraph was funny. Her first paragraph slapped and she had some good answers. Yeah. She did. because I started when I was at uni, so... Uni. That's right, they don't call it college over there. We don't call it college. Mm. Once got we, yes. we call it uni. But the RuPaul's Drag Race stands would be like, no, what the hell is uni? That means there's one of them. <laughs> Why'd you go there? <laughs> I love how RuPaul fans are broken Australians. <laughs> That's my favourite thing. You know RuPaul fans, oh yeah, yeah RuPaul what's fans. uni? That's what's not, uni? uni's only one. I went to like multiple classes. Yeah, we have our TAFE over here actually. We TAFE? Not TAFE? Yeah. Oh, okay. RuPaul! Wearing Michelle Visage's least favourite colour. I... You know Michelle Visage is sitting there being like, RuPaul, sashay away. You can see <laughs> Michelle was sitting there like, <laughs> all clear. She's a, yeah, she's doing Madonna. Impersonator? I don't even know. Honestly, funniest joke on the Snatch Game panel. Thank you. <laughs> Michelle Visage, you're the winner of this week's challenge. But I have to say, Snatch Game gave me life. She, yeah. mu she mustn't have had that much life if that Snatch Game gave her life. <laughs> She was a dead husk of a she, woman. She, she, was, <laughs> she was a hollow fiend. And there was a corpse reincarnated on this stage. <laughs> and RuPaul's putting the man in necromancy girl. <laughs> what is this bit? <laughs> the best bit of the episode, let me tell you that. Oh, heart, it's all about hearts. Ooh, okay. I do, I do like this. It is, it is a pretty like simple dress, but the shape is nice. The shoulders are, oh! 
Oh, I see. Mm. I see. There's the heart. There's I was the like, heart. there's no heart on this runway, and I was about to criticize it. Mm. I... I'm not gonna lie. I mm. like this. I love it. Even though it's just a corset, it is a brilliantly made corset. Brilliantly made corset. She had a great reveal. Uh huh. It is diamonded and shining. Sparkling. And the wig is like a heart. Yeah, it's like a heart. Okay! Vicky! Okay, this is stunning. I love this. I love this. I kind of wish the hearts continued, the small hearts continued up to the big heart. Yeah. But I love the shape of this. I love yeah. that her shoulders are hearts. Mm -hmm. She looks fantastic. She does. The velvet sleeves, these mm -hmm. little like sleeve poofs. That are a part of like the cape. Yeah. <gasps> Stop. And we love poofs in this house. We do. Oh no, Kate. Bush. Oh, she. I feel like she's gonna reveal something. Yeah, I saw someone underneath. Yeah. And oh, hello, I wish she Taylor. put it back on. <laughs> put it back on. I think this is maybe a little too simple. The shirt is ill fitting. And that's the least of my problems. That's the least of the, the problems. The most is the fact it's a shirt. And it's just a shirt. Mm hmm. I, look, it's a cute look, but it's very simple. Yeah. Oh! Shit. Chained black heart. Oh, this oh. is striking. Stop it. I love this. I love this so much. This is. I the, Oh my god. This might be my favorite runway of the season so far. It's like so simple but so graphic. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's so artsy. It's so mm. avant garde. It's so beautiful. Uh huh. And her makeup is stunning and haunting. Yeah. Oh, I'm eating this. Michael Mulroly is just a fantastic drag queen. She fucking is. She may not have proved that in the Snatch Game, but before and after, yes. she showed up. Did you listen? So, I, I have, I, I don't mind it. I do have a good critique. It's a little bit everything in the kitchen sink. Yeah. It's a bit too much on a corset. I do love all of the textures. Mm. The feathers can go. But oh, if, oh, I didn't if the feathers left though, she would just be in a corset with a bunch of like plushies attached to her. I don't really see the storyline here. No. It's kind of just, I wanted to put love hearts on a corset and that's what I did. But um, she looks fantastic. She looks great. Yeah, I feel like this is like the victim of Cupid because she got the arrow. Yeah. But I'm like, why the feathers? Yeah. Cupid had the feathers. Yeah. Oh! Okay. Honey boo boo cha. She came as a literal heart. Aortas included. So we've had three kind of red. Three heart uh, looks. Three heart, like red heart corsety kind of looks. Yeah. I still think that Tamara's is my favorite. Yep. And then probably Ginger and then probably. DD. DD. But she. Okay, she looks great. DD got a DD on her test results. Yes, yeah, she did, girl. <laughs> oh! Okay! Oh, wow. Okay, no, I love this. The red and white. I love the beat. I, I love, love the, face. the beat. I love the hair. She took out she a heart. She pulled her heart to eat it. Yes! <gasps> Drag yes! your style! Yes! yes! Oh my god! Oh, oh so that is so sick. Oh my god, that is amazing. It's like she chains all the hearts. She's a heart eater. Oh. She's a heart taker, baby. Mm -hmm. These are gonna be our saves. You are both saved. Yeah. Great. Yeah. The girls are good. The girls are good. I was a bit scared for Kara, but she's safe. Yeah. She's on an upward trajectory again. Because it's better than bottom. Better than bottoming. So. Well. Well. Because you injected insanity into that character, it worked. Yes, it did. <laughs> I, think, <laughs> I think just for that reason, the fact that she was so stupid, mm -hmm. I think she might win. She might win. She might win. Tamara might win the She has game. a chance because the other girls did not do the thing. Yeah. And this look is so beautiful. Yes. Fennycraft, you look like her. It just wasn't funny. Like, yeah. I just think you are an overthinker. So I'm very, I feel like Vicky's very it's cerebral. Really so she is very cerebral. Constantly caught in her head. Yeah. This runway look. Yes. Um, as good as this runway look is, it's not going to be enough to save her from the bottom. She was the obvious bottom for me. Yeah. So... 
Beautiful. Which that is sad. About it and it probably sings for the audience as well. You probably agree. So. And if you don't, lower your voice. And your standards. <laughs> for me, please. Make <laughs> yeah. me feel better. Lower your standards for me. We're critiquing the girls as they look like this and we look like this, so... I mean, I look fabulous, babe. Fabulous. Yeah, okay, it's like cellophane in a bit of texture. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> That's called a blowjob, darling. Yep. And that was the producers under the yeah. desk. They're getting you to top three, girl. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually a little bit sad for Vicky. I really wanted her to do well. Yeah. I want her to do well, but she's just not letting herself enjoy the moment. That's the thing. As soon as I knew it was Snatch Game, I was like, Vicky has all the tools to do well. Mm -hmm. So I won't be surprised if she does. However, with the edit and knowing how she reacts in certain performance situations, I just didn't think that she would. So I'm not surprised. No, I'm not either. Sadly, I'm not. Yeah. <laughs> really not exciting. You can say trash. Trash. I love you it. Can say... Not a sparkle, not a rhinestone. Yeah. You can say it's a Tuesday because Tuesday's a garbage day. Yep. I think tonight was a strong night. Wow. We're calling this a strong night? She said that with a chuckle in her throat. She we did. call this a strong <laughs> night for you. <laughs> she was stifling that love. She was stifling, yeah. girl. She was like, if this is just strong nights, girl, you in danger, girl. Yeah, if, this is, if this is a strong night, honey, pack your bags. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's see. I think it might be Dee Dee in the bottom again. I'm not going to lie. Who did her a disservice by just putting her in the jungle? That, yeah, she was locked to one state. Like none of her history, none of her other accolades, yeah. anything like that. She even introduced her as, oh, this person from I'm a Celebrity, get me out of here. And it's like, if she's a, on a celebrity, yeah. get me out of here. She's someone who's done something. And she didn't story. know her body of work. Yeah. She literally said at the start of the episode, I only know her from this show. Like you didn't Google her? You didn't Google her at all? What do you do? Successfully. Quickly. Quickly. <laughs> Mo came up. Does look like you've Q jumped in your sushi and someone's attacked you with two chopsticks. <laughs> oh my god! They are chopsticks! <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, Alan Carr is cultured. Yes, he is. Of course, he is. He's gay. <laughs> I mean, Dee Dee Lish is standing right there. Yeah, I think at this point, I'm seeing Vicky and Dee Dee in the bottom, which is sad because I don't think Dee Dee has done awful no. over the last couple episodes, no. but she keeps ending up in the bottom. It's like they're just like we we're not rooting for you anymore. We just we don't see it for you. Sorry, we already had Crystal Versace like. <laughs> We love you dearly, but like, just, um, doors that way. Yeah. Doors open whenever you want to leave. Yeah. Walk up behind you. Trap door. And your look tonight is pumping. Mmm. Good one, Gil. I do enjoy this look. The fact that it is an anatomical heart. Yeah. And she took it literally, where the yeah. other girls kind of took it into more of a love heart mm. kind of way. What you did as Barbara Cartland, it was... Really, a masterclass. Yes, uh, I agree. Uh, I think she started slow, but as soon as she got her groove, she I found her the most interesting thing at the Snatch Game. Mm -hmm. Apart from Tamara lathering her face in cream. Which is, <laughs> which is just, an, again, another Saturday night for Tamara. <laughs> <laughs> I will say, I am a little bit sad that Caramel did not get critiqued for her look. Nor did Michael Muruli, because yeah. those two looks were my favourite. But had they been on that panel standing in front of those judges... They would have been in the bottom. They would have been in the bottom. So... But the looks! <laughs> so deep. Six feet, Gil. Six to eight inches. Oh, yeah, to that grave that you're about to land in, Oop. so... Okay. Damn. Oh, I love it without the heart as well. It's a vibe. I love it. That's actually kind of sexy. She got a little yeah. nipple coming. She was like, I'm ready. In case I have to lip sync, I'm going to be flopping out of this suit. I was stage. motherfucking ready to do so. I know I'm in the box, oh. obviously. But I'm about to show a whole oh. performance. Oh, here we go. Okay. 
She's, I mean, after last week, she said, this lip sync song is mine this time. And if I did a lip sync song that I'm not accustomed to, just wait to see what I do well. And honestly, I am waiting for you to do well, successfully, quickly. <laughs> She does look so beautiful. I love everything about Vicky's look. There is there is nothing that I don't like about that look. It is stunning. Higher critiques. Yeah, but you're a cunt. <laughs> yes. I never denied that. Nor did the audience. No, they wouldn't. RuPaul herself would agree. <laughs> I'm not going to be the fashion girl of the season. I just need Fair to be enough. the with confidence. Ginger. Valid. Valid. Fair Fair Honestly, you don't have to be a <laughs> visually pleasing queen. Mm -hmm. Visually pleasing. <laughs> to be a great drag queen. <laughs> Sometimes it is the personality. Yeah. <laughs> I love how like Tamara is just like, I'm here, I'm doing my thing, I'm doing okay, sure. Yeah, <laughs> that's the thing, she's in the top because all the other girls didn't do too well. So yeah. honestly, good fucking on you. Good girl on you. <laughs> you made it. <laughs> it's giving, it's giving Baby, season... I made it. I made it. It's giving season 14. Um, when all oh, the when Deja was Deja the only won. one that did well. Yeah. Yeah, Deja was the only one that wasn't terrible, so she got the win and all the other girls yeah, had to yeah. win. Yeah, yeah! <laughs> There's always something extra. The extra mm. thing is her ass. <laughs> honestly, though, it's honestly. A good, it's a good ass. If you've got it, uh -huh. show it. So you should stop showing it. Thank you. Oh, how dare you! <laughs> I've got too many asses at this point. Share some with the girls. Come on. Share some with me, please. Feeding time. <laughs> I also can't show it. I don't have an ass. They disappoint me. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I feel the exact same way. Mm -hmm. I feel like she should have had more references to like Kate Bush lyrics. Yeah, like lyrics or moments or something like that. Something. She mentioned Wuthering Heights at one point, and I'm sure she did make reference to events or something that happened in Kate Bush's life. But I feel like there should have been more like when when RuPaul asked her about running up that hill. Mm. Like they could have been such a great joke you could have made from that. And she didn't. And she didn't. She, she really didn't. didn't. She said when she was like, "How'd you get back down?" She was like, oh, I don't know. I forget. Was literally her answer. Yeah. So. It was a walking kind of blobfish. I love a blobfish. That's a little bit. That's a little bit far. I mean. It wasn't jiggly caliente. It wasn't, but it didn't have a shape to it. It didn't necessarily have an intention. Yeah. But I loved how warped all the hearts were. Yeah, all the shaping of the hearts was good. Yeah, but, but that's I think where it was too stacked on top of each other and it yeah. kind of just lost any sense of like, oh, this is a corset line. This is a silhouette. Yeah, it was like, this is a pillow cover with some stuff stuck on it. Uh -huh. Here we go. Who's it gonna be? If Ginger gets her third win, I won't be upset. I won't be upset for this episode. Oh, God. You're sick. Bye, Fipa. Ginger Johnson. Ginger Johnson. Third win. Yeah. Third win. Congratulations. Hey! Damn, Ginger is demolishing these bitches. She fucking stepped in and bulldozed the fucking competition. She kind of like cruised the first couple of episodes. Yeah. Couple of I mean, you say that, but she was in the top of the first episode. Oh no, she was. For her big patterned frog. Yeah. Um. But this is. Like, I did not see this trajectory for her. Yeah. But I'm not mad. I'm not mad. Honestly, she's carrying it at this point. Mm -hmm. She's the one that's bringing the funny, so. Yeah. You're safe. <gasps> Expected. Oh, it's Didi and Vicky. Didi and Vivi, Is let's do Didi it. Is Didi going to send home another bitch with a win? Oh my god. Didi, like dick, and Vivi, like vagina. Oh my god! They're about to fuck on stage, girl. Do it! Do We're it! We're about to have straight sex on, on gay TV. I'm filming. <laughs> We've never seen this before. Okay, Vicky oh. is sending Didi home. Uh, surely. I mean, surely. Remember, Vicky beat Caramel in a lip sync. That's true! So, thank you. She went <laughs> straight away and out the bamboo. Chopsticks. 
Okay, different different takes, different takes. I feel like Dee Dee's doing too much too quickly. Yeah. Vivi's held back. She's giving storyline. No. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. Vicky's giving a storyline. But Dee Dee's but selling Dee Dee's it. entertaining as hell. Yeah, I, I am definitely looking at Dee Dee at this point. Yeah. Yes, Ruby! Yes! Is Dee Dee gonna be the lip sync assassin? She's gonna be the lip sync assassin in the season. Oh my god, oh, no, no, we're we about to lose one, one of my, our obvious front runners. No! After Banksy. Yes! Come on, girl. And honestly, I think Dee Dee did a better job in Snatch Game than Vicky did. I, I agree. Come on, Dee Dee! Yes! Vicky's not really doing much. You know what Dee Dee does successfully quickly? This. Be in the bottom. Yes! And I love that. Oh! <laughs> Stop it! Stop it! Vicky's. <laughs> oh! Wait, one had a tassel, the other one didn't. <laughs> She's holding it up. She's like, hey! Yeah. I am not the land of pasties. Come I'm on, the land girl. of pasties, girl. <laughs> <laughs> the way she just. Ugh. Oh my god. Vicky knows. Vicky knows she just got her shit I'm rocked. sorry. I'm almost Team Dee Dee at this point. I am because Team Dee Dee! Because she sent home two of our contenders, our top three. Yes! Okay. Dee Delicious. <gasps> Shantae Eustace. Ah! Oh, I can't. Ah! Dee Dee. Ah! Oh, Vicky, no! Fuck. Ah. I believing in me when loads of people haven't. Loads. Of Thank people having loads. She's taken a lot of loads. <laughs> yeah, a lot of loads have been taken, girl. Now put those bloody pasties in the oven. I'm coming home. <laughs> I mean, there was one on um, Dee Dee's nipple. You could have that one. That's a pasty. That's pasty. Oh, I'm gonna miss Vicky. I incredible. definitely I thought Vicky was gonna be top three. I really saw her in the end. This season, I'm so confuzzled, confused. Misled, gooped, ganked, and guffuddled, girl. Guffuddled. <laughs> I'm goop gagged and galinded. I'm gam goozled. <laughs> <laughs> to the moon, 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 to the moon. Now that was a damn time, wasn't it? I am gag gooped, broken inside, and I don't think I'll recover until next week when we watch the next episode. This Snatch Game, let me tell you, has been such a turning point for this season. Because mm -hmm. all the girls who I thought had the tools and capacity and skill sets to do fantastically did mediocre. Did not do well. And the girls who I think who have been doing kind of mediocre did better than anticipated. I thought Dee Dee was a safe placement. I yep. honestly don't think she should have been bottom. I, I don't think she should have been the bottom. I think she was verging on safe yeah. and bottom. And I think it's her outfit that her pushed outfit. it. Yeah. Pushed her into the bottom when other girls who are like, Oh, I'm scared for Caramel. Mm. Oh, I'm scared for Michael Maruli. Their yeah. looks were so good yeah. that it was like, bumped him up into safe. For a season full of such incredible comedic performers yeah. with incredible comedic timing who know how to hit their beats and land their lines, mm -hmm. I was just sort of like, oh. Oh, yeah, it was meh. Yeah. And honestly, if you're being outperformed in a comedy challenge by Tamara Thomas, rethink shit. Have, I mean, a look, have a look at yourself. Tamara Thomas is a joke in herself. So she is my favorite joke of the season. <laughs> yes. Okay. She is the Let running gag, that. honey. She's the running gag. And like a Saturday night. She's got a gag on, she's running from that meme. <laughs> Let me tell you that. Rob, I'm running towards. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Super shocked that Dee Dee Licious sent home Vicky Vivacious. But also kind of hilarious with the nameplate because Dee Dee Licious. She put Vicky the Dee Dee in her VV. Oh. Mm -hmm. The dick I... will always win. That's what we said. Yeah, yeah. men's rights. <laughs>
Miss Ginga Gonson. Ginga Ginga Gong Gong Gongum style. Ginga Gongum style. Yeah. Having her third win. Third win. Third win. I did not see this for Ginger. We thought she was going out by third episode. I was like, she's an early out, and she's literally dominating. She's dominating. She's strapped on her leather, and pulled out her whips, mm -hmm. kicked on her stilettos, and she said, "I will step on you." Yeah. <laughs> I think I think the thing the thing is yeah. I think out of everyone she has been maybe the most or one of the most consistent players in the game. That's the thing. And I think that is getting her through a lot of the time. But honestly, if Ginger keeps doing the best, then I've got to give it to her. You got to give it to her, girl. She yeah. don't take it. However, I do got to say, I feel like if Gingham lands in the bottom two, she's going home. Because we saw their dance-off runway in the first episode, and she came out and just sort of glanced around, took a couple of steps, and yep, went back that's again. That's true. Everyone else that's is kicking true. and splitting and selling emotion and character, and Ginga was just kind of there. Yeah. Which is why we didn't root for her from the start. I mean, I guess the set of challenges that we've had in the mm. last couple of weeks have really played into her strengths. Yeah. So I'm interested to see whether that continues. Yeah. But I guess we'll see. Anyways, thank you so much for coming and watching. Please continue to join us as we'll be up to RuPaul's Drag Race UK Season 5. And don't forget to go and check out our own season, Don't Just Drag Us, Season 2, as it comes out whenever I can finally get it on the internet. Eventually. And get it, we won't. So do not... Do not subscribe to season two, because season two will never happen. Uh, because we don't want to do this anymore, and I don't think we're very good at it. So, <laughs> uh, but also don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and click that notification bell. So that you can get this glamorous deity of uh, uh, extraterrestrial beauty upon your screen. And uh, whatever the fuck this is, here. I'm just a sad, sad girl full of sad, sad tears. Okay, Lana Del Rey. <laughs> <laughs> my pussy taste like Pepsi Cola. I'm the Sheila B. Ride. And I'm the Porchly Dev. Sail away into the stars, young child. Let the horizon be your guide. I kind of look like waves. If I just keep doing this.